I know what you're thinking. A zoom lens is something you use when you're wanting to see something that's really far away. And a wide angle is for shooting those open landscapes. Yeah? Well, you're right and you're wrong. There's another fun use for using different lenses. You can change the way your whole image looks just by changing your focal length. Here's an example. Here's what I look like at a focal length of 16 millimeters. It's not the best look for me, honestly, but if you wanted a crazy amount of depth and to see everything around me, then it could work, I guess. Now, if you walk the camera backwards so we get the same shot size, but zoom into 35 millimeters, you begin to see that the image looks a lot less like it was shot on a fisheye, but you still have quite a lot of background in the frame. Jumping now to 50 millimeters, we see that this is where I look the most lifelike. And what I mean by that is that this is what our eyes are most accustomed to seeing. Jumping to 100 millimeters, we see that the background is getting very compressed and our subject's features are getting flattened. Between 70 mil and 200 mil is the most commonly used for portrait work because unlike our 16 mil, these focal lengths are actually quite flattering for your subject. Jumping to a crazy 300 millimeters, you can see that the background is extremely compressed and even though this is the exact same shot as the first one, you can see the vast difference between the two by just changing how zoomed in or zoomed out you are. Hopefully this helps you when you're deciding which lens to use for your next video. Thanks for watching.